Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Leona Champion Showcase for Legends of Runeterra. Oh boy, I'm excited. Let's jump right into it. The cinematic. Divine light shines within me. Ooh, this isn't like the other ones. Four mana. Lena lights up her foes. When played first round. Bask in the light's radiance. Oh, she is she yet yeah, she stuns. She's a four mana three five. Her allies are also stronger when played at first light. The dawn has arrived. Right. Carry her light across the mountain. I guess it's if I've seen since it, it only applied once day breaks four times. She levels up. Okay, so that that five drop is basically. Oh my gosh! All right, Leona level up four mana four six obviously daybreak. Or when you activate another daybreak, stun the strongest enemy. Holy! This is some Yasuo, Yasuo support right here, man. Holy crap! More stun synergy, nice! Wait, does that grant Question all overwhelm? That you are told. It grants overwhelm! Away all what? Wait, oh. Okay, I'll go back later. But I, I think I missed something there. She gets oh, that spell gave her overwhelm. Holy crap! Bold moves win games. The sun will fall. I do not believe it. Daylight everlasting. Aha. Nice. All right. Uh, let me go back. Oh, let me go back to. Uh... All right. Oh, you can see it right here. You've activated four day breaks. It's not an I've seen. It's not okay. So it's. Re In that case, she's really good, and it's only four. It's only four day breaks. That's easy. You can do that by turn four. In fact, you could. If you play a daybreak every, like, from turn one onward, you can play a leveled up Leona on turn four. That's, that's easy. Holy crap. Okay, and then let's, let's see your level up. Where's our level up? Alright. Yeah, when you activate another daybreak, stun the strongest enemy. Or when I okay, all right. So yeah, she she just screams stun synergy. Oh my gosh! I uh, if there's no other like things that benefit from stun, uh, then I I'll, I'll be surprised in in Targon because, oh, oh my gosh, she's more stun than I think like she alone. Can provide enough stun for an entire deck archetype. Okay, Zenith Blade, a three mana slow spell. Grant an ally plus one plus two and overwhelm. Daybreak, draw a Zenith Blade. Whew, this is an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Sunlight oh my God. Away all towns. All right, so we were right about uh this kid, this dude. It's always they break when he's out. And he comes in at the perfect time too. This dude is so much better with Leona. You play Leona, you then you get the proc Leona with him, and then you can do it again with with the number of spells that you have. Destru uh, to stun multiple enemies. Dude, amazing. Amazing. Deal six. Wait, that was a silence. I want to see that card. Holy crap! The sun will fall. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. Daylight.
fight everlasting. I like her. I like Leona. I really do. All right, let's go to Twitter and check out the cards there. Let's see. Where do we start? I feel like starting on the right. Sunburst, a six mana slow speed card. Deal six damage to a unit. All right, so it's almost like a thermal beam that that is set at six mana. All right, thermal beam is really good. So this could possibly see play. Daybreak, instead silence it this round and deal six to it. Oh, okay. So if it's the first card you play, then you can silence something like, if it has a death rattle, you can silence it and then kill it with the six damage. So that could possibly be very good against Undying. That's pretty good against Undying. And I guess, like, meh, I don't think the silence is as relevant. I don't think, there will be some niche situations where you would use the silence, but Really, what this is, is a, a, a thermal beam that's set at 6 mana, with, with, a, with, a, with a niche effect on it. And thermal beam is really good, though I don't know how good thermal beam at 6 mana is going to play out. But I think it will be pretty good. It's definitely not a terrible card, I'll say that. Definitely has some potential. Alright, Guiding Touch, a 2 mana burst speed card. Heal an ally or your nexus to draw 1? What? Heal an ally or your nexus and draw. This card does everything that a control deck wants. For two mana at burst speed. It gives you card advantage. It gives you healing. And it does it at a cheap cost so you can play other things within the same turn. Holy crap, this card is nuts! Holy crap, this card is nuts! Guiding touch is so nuts! What the heck, man? This is definitely a Soraka card. God, with all the healing in Targon and, and us knowing that Soraka is coming, this just makes me scared. I'm scared of Soraka. What will Soraka do? Will it be. Will she double down on healing? Will she. I, which I think she will. Will, will she have a silence effect? What, what, what will she do? Ah. Zenith Blade, a 3 mana slow speed card, alright, so this is, when you think of this, you can compare it to something along the lines of Rally, actually. Because sometimes, Overwhelm, the over, what's important is not really the stats that you gain, what's important is the Overwhelm keyword. The Overwhelm keyword is what's most important. Gra Though granting the ally plus 2 health and plus 1 attack is nice, it's the granting the overwhelm keyword that really, really makes this card. Because um, there isn't a lot of things that grant a keyword uh, in this game. Other than the auger, which they also released in this patch, which can grant overwhelm. This, this is just, I think, just straight up better in some cases, because you... It, Utilizes the three floating mana that you have um, To basically, you know give overwhelm plus some stats to a creature and Honestly, I prefer the plus two health instead of the plus two attack uh, Sorry, I misspoke. I prefer you having plus two health that that it gives instead of Maybe getting it plus two attack, because even though a overwhelm scales well with attack, I think that what this card is trying to do is trying to make your overwhelm unit survive as long as possible, so that it can get multiple overwhelms off. And since it's a grant, it, that really 
that really helps out a lot. So yeah, I, I'm li Zenith Blade is really good. I think Zenith Blade is really good. Not as nutty as Guiding Guiding Touch, but definitely really good in mid range concepts, and and especially good when you're trying to finish off the game. Like you can stick this onto any big statted unit, and it becomes a threat for three mana. So that's really good in itself. Leona's Morning Light gives allies plus two, plus two this round. Shuffle Leona into your deck. Daybreak, activate all ally daybreak effects at once. Holy crap! <laughs> so you can reactivate your daybreak effects on field with this card. That, my friends, is nuts. And I'm assume this is, I assume this is a main deckable card that you can run. Though I don't know. This seems like the kind of card you only run one of. Because it's very reliant on synergy. However. The most comparable card this is is for Demacia. Which is 6 mana. So it's minus 1 mana for, for a minus... Minus, uh, 1 plus 1. Which is not bad. It's not, it's not terrible. But the real thing, the real thing is the synergy that it provides. You see, activating all ally daybreaks effects at once can be a huge deal. You have, you have, if you have a Leona on the board, you, you stun the strongest enemy. If you have, um, the other dude, the 5-5, five five, on the field, then you gain another card of the archetype. If you have some of your cheaper Goss units, all of a sudden they get way big the due to due to the the give stats. Oh my god. This is a nice card. I like I like the idea behind it. I really do. At this point Past this, I'm gonna ramble. I need I need some time to think about, about these new cards. Oh, but, but from an initial standpoint, I think Leona is gonna be crazy, especially with Yasuo. But there could be even more stun synergy out there. And without with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. I hope you all stay healthy out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.